Hi, um, it's my last day, so I'm kind of a little upset. I actually enjoy this job, believe it or not. Um, Casey bullies me a lot, but I like it. Um, yeah. My update, I've been cleaning all week. It's never enough, but I've been cleaning, so I think I've been doing a good job with that. Um, it's true, me and Keenan were talking about how it's your last day and you could really be half-assing it if you wanted. And you haven't, you've been cleaning. Yeah. So yeah, going off to college, I'm excited for that, going to Tarleton State University. Mm. I'll whoop you. Anyway, yeah, going to college, so it's going to be fun. Um, paid off the car and now I have a little bit in savings, so it's doing good. What's up, man? That's definitely the look of disappointment on his face. What's new? Honestly, <laughs> what's new? But um, one of the biggest things I learned from this job is to have thick skin. And I, I think I've achieved that because now I just don't care what he thinks. Exactly. And who knows if I'm getting fired at the end of this video or not. But um, yeah, that's my update for the week. So that's pretty much it. Right on, man. Appreciate it. Yep. Good luck on your uh, future journey, by the way. Thank you. Drew can move your ass out of here. Isn't it your last day? Um, I worked on everything in there. You know what I mean? Get away from me. Oh, you need some help? How'd you get so strong? The steering wheel ain't even hooked up in here. How we got that, but don't got that? I don't know, because it's not going to go under there. We don't need any help there. Don't worry. Right. Oh, y'all got this. What did I do this weekend? Oh, wait. This week. Uh... I bought a boat on Saturday. Nice, the Billy Big Rig boat special. Oh yeah. Drove down to Houston on Saturday, picked it up, and then worked on it all day Monday. All I heard it's got one of those special motors you like to work on. 351 Windsor. Wolfpack. That's right, baby. Small block Ford. It's actually fuel injected. Really? So, yeah, it got me a 1999 Sport Nautique. Got a GT40. 351. Ugh. Pro Boss. 285 horses. Sheesh. Hold on a second. Let me. Now I gotta re expose. Alright, say that again. It's 285 horses. Something like that. Uh, just trying to get back to my roots. Trying to get back on the water, you know. Tired of working on cars, so. Order a bunch of new speakers. I'm gonna replace the tower speakers. I'm gonna put a bimini top uh, <clears throat> for the sun. We're putting, uh, we're gonna put some, uh, what do you call it? Ballast in the back. So All I right, get surf. a good wake going. Heck yeah. Yeah. Put a wake, uh, wake wedge or wake fin or something. I don't know. Let me get back into surfing. So I'm liking this. I, I feel like we need to go out and film some episodes with the Billy Big Rig special. Heck yeah, we can do it either Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. I'm down. Either of those days sound great. In fact, so, even all four, if we got to do a four-day yeah. special. Heck yeah. Yeah. Shark week, maybe we'll do lake week, you know? Yeah, buddy. So yeah, I bought it from a guy who, uh, he bought it brand new. It's a 1999. He replaced all the interior, like everything you sit on. It's all brand new. Got me a new radio coming. It's nice, dude. I like it. Be back on the water for the rest of the summer. Hopefully I can get some of my work buddies to go with me. Casey probably have to work, so. He don't know how to ski anyways. He's, I don't think he knows how to swim. I he don't. looks like it. I, looks you can, like, you looks can, like he looks like he doesn't. Do gingers know how to swim? They don't nah, go outside much. Nah, I mean, I can't blame know. them. Their skin gets eaten up. Swim. He don't know how to swim. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing this week. I like it, man. So, see y'all in the water. We're starting off with Keenan today. Been working on the 
Apache. Apache. Yeah. I, I like that name. Apache 3100. <laughs> 55 to 59 Apache truck. Yeah, it's been sourced with all those parts. Yeah, all the years it's here. It's a bit of a, a Johnny Cash one yeah. piece at a time project. <laughs> so it was about time to for me to put the firewall in so I could go further with the mounting the brakes. Uh huh. And uh, since we're doing a firewall mount master cylinder, so uh -huh. I went ahead and merged all the pieces together. I like this. Did you make the floor panels? Yeah, merged them back into the factory. I like how well you blended it all. Yeah, the, I was not, I didn't have a very good feeling about the bead rolls lining up and so they're pretty close. Yeah, they look they look Just good to me little, and little I, I really like the, the floor. This floor tunnel cover came out really well. Yeah, I tried to not have to uh, remake that piece and try and reuse the old one, but it was just way easier and looks better this way so it really does so the only real tunnel cover is just that small area yeah there, right? yeah ah, so it'll be cool. kind of bubbly so we'll see how that shapes out but i think i will raise this arc right here maybe another quarter inch because you can see it just that bolt will just barely come out so there's no reason to go that close so i might go half inch at most up and start making the trans tunnel so all the all the rust is fixed. And you said you started uh, welding the firewall on? Yeah. Yeah, I just gotta, I need to weld these in. I'm gonna weld it all the way around and then uh -huh. weld the uh, engine doghouse in. I see you've already blended the, yeah. uh, was that part of the floor going up to the firewall? I guess it's yeah. still a firewall, but. Yeah. Made this side panel for the the uh, extra floor. Yeah, this looks nice. Around. I really like the flange that you did on it where it just blends right into that factory yeah. edge so well. So I have to clean all this up now and make it go all the way and that kind of fades away. So I'm sure I'll do something there and make it flow all the way. It's looking nice. Every week I see it, yeah. it just looks better and better. I'm pretty happy now that the firewall's in it to actually be feeling like I'm going forward. There's no holes in the cab anymore, so that's good. I mean to think just a month ago, this truck was sitting in a field rotting away. Oh yeah. And now it's looking now it's a, really close to a very yeah. custom built and fitted truck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lots of prep work. A lot of cutting, seemed, grinding. Yeah, talking about it isn't that much, doesn't seem like it was that much work, but just having to make sure everything's straight, tacking it all in, holding it straight, pushing here or there, taking Clecos out to kind of maybe shift it a little more since the Cleco might have been holding or whatever, so. Yeah, but yeah well, we'll you may be taking your time with it, but it looks good. Yeah. We're gonna shorten the column to somewhere right here and then. Is that a hard or easy thing to do? Uh, it's pretty easy. We've done it on a few. Other we did it on the Bronco and the, that 67 right there, so. Gotcha. But we can't run our normal uh, column ball or whatever you wanna call oh, it. Oh, that you like to run in the yeah, firewall. Yeah, since we're so close on the edge, so we got a piece of tube that slips yeah, that's over that. really tight to the yeah. header, so I can see why. Yeah, before the doghouse was over, like right here, so I had to. Oh, that must have been kind of weird to try and figure so, out. So yeah, we were like, well, the, we ended up having to fix that, but it would have been a little ridiculous if the column was halfway through the edge. So it worked out good. So then yeah, we'll just weld that little piece of tube, have a little flange sticking out, and that's it. And then hopefully I get the brakes next week. I want to try and get the brakes uh, firewall. Booster mounted, get the total fire, get rid of all these Clecos, get the firewall tacked in, the engine doghouse tacked in, and then put the front end back on and start inner fenders. Then once those are done, we'll be just making brackets for the AC and fuse boxes and whatever else. All the miscellaneous else. Yeah, all the, thing that needs support. All the gadgets, the new gadgets we put in them. Then after that, raise a bed floor and go to paint. Man, this thing may be ready for Dino's after all. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I'm feeling a little better about it, but I mean, we're just gonna I see. I mean, we were all making jokes about it, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. he's like, here's another truck, but yeah. this is going it's together well, whether it goes yeah. or not, it's still making great progress. Yeah. It's not gonna be because of me, I'll tell no, you that. for sure. So yeah, I let Drew's last day today, so I let him clean up my mess as a going away present. Oh, that's nice. So hey. he got it all cleaned up for me. Yeah, it looks good, the floor looks good. Yeah. I think that kid's learning how to use the broom all yeah. right. I'm gonna miss it. There he is right there. Right, now that, now that he knows how to finally do everything, he's leaving yeah. us. 
Now I gotta clean my own messes up next week. I know. Well, that's it for me. I'm out of here. All right, we're here with Nick. This week? Yeah, what do you got? We've been working on the 56, um, doing the quarter panels. On the other side, I did the rockers, lower rockers, and then working around these tail lights. God, that seems like some tedious. It's hard getting in there. I, yeah, I bet. Just looking at it does not look very fun. And then making it flat and straight. It's curved, but also like sharp yeah. angles at the same time. Oh yeah. And you said you did these rockers over here? Yeah, down here. Gotcha. And we did finish the firewall. We're getting it ready for poly. This will be the first poly on the outside of the car. Okay. So the whole firewall will get repolyed. And we'll block it again. Right on, man. Well, you, yeah. got, you got any knife checks this week? Uh, I think no? I brought the same one. I forgot. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Titanium Tenacious. Oh, yeah. I do like that That's one. That's a cool pretty one. sick knife. Yeah. That's about it. Gotcha. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah. All right. We, we're here with Canton. We're here. Another Can week. Canton, uh, you said that this thing is not in the paint booth because y'all been working on a lot this week. We have. So we have Phillips truck. It was sitting here Monday morning. Uh -huh. Chassis and everything. Got the cab, doors, defender. Let's see, everything's. Let's see, doors to the cab on the B pillar, and then doors, defender. Everything blocked out really nice. All in 100 and 320. The windows are all in 320. The only thing that's not done, ready to be wet sanded, is the roof and the back of the cab. His fenders look pretty slick, 320. The doors are looking pretty slick. It's the only bad thing about just sitting around now. You don't want to get them scratched obviously so try to right. stay away from everything so his is getting ready for wet sand we have a few little things we got to do is urethane the jams touch up a few little small things and then we've been back on the square body it's out of the booth this is the first initial hard block okay cutting it down pretty good got some pretty nice lines so far if you want to check these out i mean yeah man they look nice and crisp extra crispy Pretty proud of this bed rail. I mean, that's a dang good looking bed rail. Seems to be blocking out really nice. Hopefully this is the last time it's in the body shop. Casey's supposed to be in here and he bailed on me again. So I'm just gonna keep rocking and rolling. We got B pillars, A pillars, top of the body line, mark the laser line on it, on to the next one. That's my short and sweet. Any other questions? Job. Yeah, they, uh, I, I noticed that you're out here blocking on this and not on the boat like everybody else. Mm -hmm. Some of us got to work around here. <laughs> Some of us actually have to work and it's not play time. Hey, give him back his rags so he can go away. It's his last day. Last time the better. I think he's around me. So this week, have we introduced my latest bad decision? Are you talking about Blake's new boat? Yeah. Blake can, if he wants to pay me for it. He knows my boat. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Listen, he, he already gave a whole video update about all the stuff that he was going to do to this boat. His boat? Yeah. You'll have to watch the video Thursday to. I ain't seen, I ain't seen no money for the for your boat. No money transfer. I think that's uh, it's like uh, what is it, employee owned type of deal. So no. he's been working on it. See. All the guys have been on me like, hey, let's go to the lake, let's go to the lake, let's go to the lake. And then you went to the lake. We went to the, all we did was just test to see if our throttle issue was fixed or not. And then I was like, the, today at lunch, I said, hey, you guys want to go to the lake tomorrow? Go? Nah. So they only want to go to the lake if we go during work hours. That's the. So they can all kiss my ass. We're never doing that now. Oh, okay. So you can go with me though. Right on. Me and you might go out next Thursday. Right on, bring the camera. So if he's already talked about it, how much do I need to talk about or not talk about? Is uh, it Blake being stupid or do like? I said, just Blake being stupid about his boat, or do I just need to talk about what we got in, what we got going on here? I probably should have just let you talked about it, and I could have edited this all mashed up together. It would have been pretty funny. You done ruined my bit. So you know what? It don't matter. There's a boat behind me. I bought a boat. Let's Apparently, get, it's Blake's boat. Let's get it. Let's get into it. I don't know. Blake was just acting silly. Blake's acting stupid. Is what he's doing. 
So I It's have, comedic, you know. No. Yeah. So normal me, I buy a boat. It started out on a cheap budget. After about two days, two hours more or less, two hours of looking, I decided that's not the budget of that's not the boat I want to get. It was in my budget. So then I added a couple more to it. You know, I was like, oh, well, let's get we're getting closer. So now I'm like double of what I thought I was gonna spend on a boat, which is fine. I mean this is a beautiful boat. It's a 1999 Sport Nautique made by Correct Craft. It's a Correct Craft Sport Nautique. Got 351 Windsor in it. Don't know how many hours or miles or whatever. The guy I got it from has had it 20 years, had had it 20 years. It's got that GT40 motor got in it? Got a GT40, 351 Windsor. That's pretty sick. It is sick. We took it out on the lake and I mean, Philip, we got a couple of videos we'll send you. You can insert if you want to or whatever, but it gets out of the hole pretty good, which is awesome for what we want to do with it. So I ordered a 750 pound ballast bag for the back to help sink the back of the boat. Right, we make ordered, a wake. Make a wake, because we want to wake surf. And then I got a fin that you put on either side. So you put it, the fin goes on the, the right side if you ride normal, and then it somehow diverts the water. It's science. You mean, you know? you mean ride regular? If you ride regular, you, you put it on this side. If you ride, you ride goofy, goofy, you put it up the fin on that side, and it's gotcha. supposed to make the weight different. So, um, our customer that owns a blue gray truck owns a wakeboard company. Oh, nice. Yep. And it's kind of ironic because isn't he out in Arizona? Yep. It is. Soul. Let me look it up. So I'm gonna get it wrong, and I don't want to give a shout out to the wrong company. Soul Craft Wake Surf. Oh, gotcha. So he makes wake surf boards. So he's gonna send us a few of them so we can um, test them out. By test them out means fall, because none of us have ever wake surfed, so. Oh, really? None of us. Oh, really, have you wake surfed? Yeah. You surfed behind a boat? Yeah. Can you do it? Maybe, it's been about 10 years. But oh, I'm dear, down dear. to try it. <laughs> yeah, I'm down to try it. Um, so, there's that, and then the speakers up there sounded like garbage. Garbage. So, so then our next, Thing that we did we might as well just do another unboxing I mean might as well right all right so we've talked about this before so what cool comes out of Stillwater Oklahoma speakers speakers audio so we have Ugh. holy cow these are heavy oh baby there are kicker uh, tower speakers boy he's even keeping you fresh with some little badges too that's the fresh bro this don't feel like it's got anything in it. Whenever we do the boat video, let me know. I'll uh, wear my kicker shirt and represent. We're all gonna have to wear our kicker shirts. I've been wearing mine out lately. Fits me like a glove. Got one amp, we got our second amp. There we go, amps, amps. Our speakers for down the side, and then our head unit. So, we should have it jamming for next week, hopefully. Hopefully next weekend we go out and we can have everything here. Hopefully we'll have our wakeboards here, ballast will be here. Stereo will be here, or installed, but. You don't think Blake can wake surf? I can, I can surf regular, like real surf. Yeah, it's about the same, especially with that little thing off the boat, because you can pump in between uh, yeah. the waves. I mean, I'll give it a shot. I mean, we have, we have to try, so, there. There's all our jams. The only thing we're missing is our sub. I think it went out today, so it'll probably be your, I think they said Monday, but, so it'll have a sub underneath the somewhere wherever we make wherever we can make all this stuff fit so that's about it for me this week oh cool thing i got to do i'm wondering if i'm even supposed to say that well they can't show no pictures of it what yeah what are they gonna do be mad at me right so well hold on did you have to sign a uh, nda yeah yeah then you may not want to say something. i can't talk about it yeah that's hold usually on. Let's make a phone call. Yeah, find out real quick. I don't want this to turn into a, a hey, we're going to have to show. cut that part. Can I talk about the at all? No, there'll be no, not yet, because there'll be no zero unveiling of it until. 
is when it's going to go on social media. So I can't even talk about it. All right. So, well, I kind of. Hey, you want to see the? Want to see the fin? Yeah. I want to see it too. I haven't seen the fin yet. So I haven't used it yet. But got a little thingamajigger on there. It says mm -hmm. for like regular goofy. Uh huh. And you can turn it, which I thought was cool because there's some out there that just went on. And then you had to keep moving, like, say if this was on there and you wanted to, like, move, you had to move this. So That's this crazy. Nice. It just sticks on with a suction cup? Yeah, suction cup's on there, which wow. trips me out. And guys are like, oh, man, it sucks when you lose them. Dude, I am putting a clip on here. With a little buoy? That go, well, that goes oh, over the Oh, yeah, just a safety? Yeah, yeah, so then if it does fall off, we're like, oh, it came off, then just, just grab it, you know? That's smart. Like, you'd, you'd figure out that's why the holes were on it, but everybody's like, man, I've lost, like, three of them. Like, well, after I lost the first one, I'd have a solution for it. <laughs> Three hundred dollars. Maybe, you, maybe know? you should start selling that. As a, as yeah, I uh, got the uh, surf thing, my jigger saver. So, other than that, I went and did a special project. We'll call it a special project. All right. In Arkansas, over at uh, Collision Hub, out there with Kristen Felder and Collision Hub, um, testing out a couple things, some future things coming out um, that I can't talk about yet. But it was cool to be the. Uh, one of five or six of us that actually got to test it out for the first time so it uh it'll be neat i think it's something that everybody will enjoy I'm trying to get out to give too many hints but it's like it's a product you guys will be able to find out more about next month casey right. can actually so it's talk a product about. that i use now that is completely different than what i'm using now by the same company so and it, it's the future. It's the future. But that's my week. I don't know what they did in the body shop. I don't know what anybody else is doing. Didn't care. This week, kind of. You got some welding done too. Oh, welded your rear end. Yes. It took six weeks, but we got it done. Yeah, that's all right. And what else do we do? I hate it when I go out of town in the middle of the week because it kind of throws off my whole week. Because then, like Monday and Tuesday, I was like, I got to get all this done. And then Tuesday, I had to drive to Little Rock, Arkansas, or Belton. I had to drive out to Belton, do that day of shooting, and then drive back on Wednesday night. So I just got home last night and then it was late. So I didn't come in until a little bit, I think it was like eight o'clock, seven thirty, eight o'clock before I got here today. And then just my dad's going up and picking up a car in Michigan for me. So I've been working on getting the trailer together. Winch, uh, we had to swap out the winch today on the trailer. Blake really swapped out the winch today because the car that I'm picking up doesn't run. What, is this car for you? Mm-hmm. You want to talk about that or just wait till it shows up? Let's just wait till it shows up, unless you want to hint at it. One of my best buds is giving me his car. That's really cool, man. Well, not giving. I'm getting one of my best buddies' car. So it's coming down here. I got to do some work to get it back running again, but I'm kind of excited about it. You know? Hey, future, family. future content. Family heirloom. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be a cool car when it's all together and done. It, it's not going to take much. I'm not going to do a whole lot to it. I just want to get it to where it runs again. <laughs> like, legitimately. Like, I'm not motor swapping right away. I just want to get it to where it drives because cool ass car nice that's it for me try to get my boat wired up this weekend i'm gonna i think i'm gonna take it out saturday maybe take the kids tubing or something like that just have some fun and then um bring it back next week finish up a couple things maybe next week we can do a video on it or something like that go out to the water watch this all fall sounds like a plan yeah so sorry for the short and sweet this week just uh, a little scatterbrain but we'll get back after it next week see y'all later